How's it going out there today, guys? So I wanted to share with you a little uh, plinkin' ammo that I picked up the other day. I've shot it before, but I've been having trouble finding it. And uh, so I ended up ordering this 500 pack online of this Aguila 22 Super Calibre. Now what this is, is this is a uh, 20 grain lead bullet. Uh, primer only. There is no gunpowder in this cartridge whatsoever. So I don't know if you've ever seen like the cowboy shooters or stuff like that that use uh, what they use a lot of the time to practice are wax slugs and they uh, just basically have wax bullets that they load and they'll put uh, either just a minute amount of gunpowder in there or just primer only and uh, you know it's a lot cheaper alternative for them to practice uh, these are not cheaper than normal 22, unfortunately, which I don't really understand. I guess there's maybe more that goes into manufacturing them or something like that. But, uh, the velocity on these is 590 feet per second, supposedly. Um, and it's, just, it's a quiet, quiet round is, is the best thing about it. I've already got into these. Um... But I'll show, go ahead and show you the bullet here. So there it is. Cute little thing, ain't it? Surprisingly, these things have are more uh, powerful than you would think. Have a little bit more punch than what you would, would expect. Uh, I know I've seen different videos on this stuff and uh it can still definitely harm someone i don't know that it would necessarily kill them it would have to be a really well placed shot but uh definitely not something you would want to get shot with for sure it's a uh, basically turns your gun into a uh pellet gun more or less and actually lots of pellet guns are probably more powerful because this is only coming out like i said at 590 feet per second Let's go shoot some of this stuff and check it out. up a few more and try it again. As I said before, they have uh, zero gunpowder in them. They are primer only. So it sounds about like a cap gun or a air rifle, high powered air rifle, something like that going off out of this revolver. Of course it's a little bit louder out of a revolver. Well, that wasn't very good. I have to do that again.
So I'll tell you what, we're going to uh, break out the MMP 1522, try to shoot that target that's back there a little bit farther. All right, so I've broken out the MMP 1522, and I moved my uh, swingers down to where the other steel target's at. And, uh, we're gonna see if we can't connect with these things. Got some loaded in the mag. We're gonna try it out with these. Now, if I didn't mention before, uh, obviously since these are primer only, they will not cycle a semi-auto gun. So uh, I'll basically be shooting at pole action. Okay, let's go. Shoot the big round first to see if I'm connecting and where I need to aim. Oh yeah, no problem. Yep. Yeah, these things can be a little finicky in a magazine as well. Go for the big round again. Nice. You can hear how quiet it is out of this MMP 1522. I mean, it's it's probably quieter than a pellet gun. All you're really hearing is the ding from the steel. This is what the guys in the UK feel like, right? I think they have to have the ARs, they have to have straight pole. Great little plinking ammo for the backyard. I have seen videos of guys uh, using this to kill rabbits, squirrels, stuff like that. I personally have never killed anything over the size of a field mouse with it, but uh, it can do the job if you need it to, I suppose. Something great for the kids to practice with. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, nice, got it. Oh. Oh, really? Yep, told you they're finicky. Oh, nice, got it. There's a miss. It's that middle one every time. He's doing that to me with a pistol. Oh yeah, I got it. Now if I didn't mention before, they don't recommend that you shoot this stuff out of a rifle at all. It's mainly meant for revolvers and stuff like that. But uh, the theory is that they can possibly, the bullet can possibly not clear the end of the barrel and get stuck in the barrel, but I know lots of guys that shoot this stuff out of rifles and have never had an issue. I've personally never had an issue with it, but just something to be aware of. Ooh, over the top. Boom. Stuff is pretty, pretty accurate for a little 20 grain bullet with no powder. Boom. Fun stuff, man. I mean, probably only at 25 yards, but still, I mean, for something like this uh, Super Calibre ammo, I mean, not bad at all, really. I'm happy to aim high, obviously, but maybe six inches high. Miss. There we go. And we've got 
got a stove pipe. Uh, another thing to be aware of with this ammo is uh, just having the primer in there, it tends to get a, a like a hard carbon residue buildup that uh, sometimes you'll run into issues. Like I said, guys, really cool, just a little plinking ammo for the backyard. Uh, definitely, definitely some fun. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Found it informative or entertaining, either one, maybe both. But, uh, yep, we'll check you out next time. Later.